Not that long ago, I did a review where I put flex tape against Gorilla Tape, and it was like a battle of the titans, so to speak. Well, today, we're gonna do something a little similar. All right, so I have Flex Glue Clear Pro against Gorilla Heavy Duty Construction Adhesive Ultimate. So this is their pro version construction adhesive. We're gonna put them in a head-to-head -head competition. Yes, we are gonna do the brick test. Yes, we are going to do the underwater brick test. We're going to do one other test that I'm a little nervous about, but you're going to have to stick around to see what that is. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's see how these two construction adhesives do going head to head. So the Gorilla construction adhesive retails for around $10 and the Flex Glue retails for around $13. They both say that they are nine fluid ounces, except the Gorilla adhesive is 266 milliliters and the Flex Glue is 270 milliliters. Now you start them off both the exact same way. You screw off the top here, you take a utility knife and cut off the tip part here, just above the screw threads. And then you're gonna cut this. I typically cut it on an angle. I use a piece of wood or a cutting board. Put it back together. You may have to puncture the thing with a needle on the end of your caulking gun, then you load it. Um, they are both the exact same setup, just so you know that. But I'm getting excited to go glue some bricks together. Both the tips are cut off here, and then the tops of here are cut at the same angle. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna screw them onto the top, put them in the caulking gun, and get gluing. We are now gonna try the brick challenge. So I have three stripes of glue on each of those. I want to stick them up stack and moving along. I will say I, I end up taking the tip off because it's so much easier to squeeze the glue out of this than the other with the other tip on. Let's rock. All right, so you saw it break away a little. Let's see what happens. <laughs> One brick, pretty good. Four bricks, not so much. Let's give it a little more glue. Well, that's pretty oh, sad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this set here overnight, come back and check it out in the morning. Let's do the same thing with the Gorilla Heavy Duty Adhesive. I think the problem I'm having on both of them is the one side of the brick is not flat. It's, it's more of a texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'll leave both these stacks overnight and we'll see how they cure that way. So here are my four bricks that I glued together. This side of course is Flex, this side is Gorilla over here. And so then I decided, let me just glue a piece of wood on top. So if you remember, when I first did the flex side, the bottom two blocks would fall out and similar with the gorilla side. So I've let them sit for two days. Plus I have that block of wood on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it up right from the center here of this block of wood and see what happens to those blocks. Will they fall? Will they stay?
Pretty sweet. Didn't even budge. Yep, that's pretty much what I expected. I expected when I glued bricks together and glued a board to it, they were going to stick to it. Now, was I disappointed that the instant stick didn't really work for me? Absolutely. I would have liked it if I instantly stuck it, but after the cure time, they did a great job. But that's what I expected. Now, I'm actually going to try it underwater. I don't have a whole lot of high hopes for this, but it's a claim on both products. So let's try to glue under water. Hindsight, I would have done this a little differently. First things, I would have had the bucket cut a little taller. I only have like a half inch to three quarter inch of a space here. So I have a towel underneath just in case I spill. I have both sets of bricks in. They are, neither of them are um, glue. They're just in there getting wet. One side of the brick has a flat side and the other side has a more textured side. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually giving this the best case scenario for both adhesives. I'm going to glue flat side to flat side. And what I'll do initially is I'll put it down in there. I'll try to lift it up and then I'm going to leave it in there overnight because I know both of these adhesives cure after about 24 hours. So I'm going to do the flex glue first. I don't have the top part on here. I'm going to take this brick. And I think I'll just set it up on top of that brick. And so my goal is to stick this down in there to that brick, go back and forth a few times, and then hook them together. Because this glue is clear, it's hard to see, but it did go on there. I can see it in the S formation. So let's put this on. I'm going to push down and hold. So it does hold it. It's probably going to drop. No, maybe not. All right, so let's put it back in the water and leave it overnight. To make this easy for myself, I'm just going to move them around. I'm actually grabbing the bottom brick, not pulling by the top, just spinning around so I can get the Gorilla brick on this side and trying not to spill. All right, ready to go. Same as with the flex glue. I'm going to do flat side to flat side. I'll bring this out so I don't push on that brick. All right, let's do it. The benefit of having the white glue is you can see it a whole lot better. All right, let's see if we can lift it. Looks like it's holding strong. All right, back in the water. I'll see you tomorrow. These bricks have been sitting in here right at the 24 hour mark. And so I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out and we're going to test to see if it really did cure underwater because that's pretty impressive. The first one I took out was the Gorilla one and this here is the Flex one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get rid of this bucket and we're going to take a closer look at those two sets of bricks. So here are our bricks. So you can tell the clear here is the Flex glue, the white is the Gorilla glue. So this is an interesting test, right? Because this glue was applied underwater. The brick, of course, was underwater. Applied the glue, put the other brick on top, and they cured underwater. Not out of the water at all. That, to me, is really interesting. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to see if I can pull these apart. Ready? Set? Go. Okay, so I'm pulling pretty tough, and I got nothing. I don't have anything. Yeah, that's tough. Wow, impressive stuff. All right, let's try the Gorilla. Same thing, pull, push. Man, this stuff is both really tough. I think you would do fine with either of these if you're putting some outdoor pavers and you want to glue them down. Both were pretty impressive. So, have you either used the pro formula of the Flex Glue or the Gorilla Construction Adhesive? What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. All right, so this next part of the video, well, let me preface it by saying, I've done a lot of not so smart things in my life and this next thing is gonna rank pretty high. So, don't try this at home. But I am gonna glue some cinder blocks to the ceiling. I know, sounds crazy. Let it cure and then see 
if it'll hold my weight. Does this work out well? I don't know. Let's try it right now. To make it fair, I've drawn lines down each brick. And so what I'm gonna do is I'll do the flex glue first. And so I'll line this one down. Every single line will have a, a bead of flex glue on it. And then I'm gonna put it up to the ceiling and then I'll do the Gorilla adhesive same exact way. It's hard to tell because I have the clear, but I have a bead of the flex glue all the way down each line. Now let's put it up on the ceiling. It may not be straight, but it's up there. Let's see if that glue holds in a day or so. The grill adhesive's on here, on this brick. Now let's go hang this one up, right next to the other one. Boy, was that a lot harder. We have both blocks hanging from the ceiling. Supported by a 4x4, you can see that the flex is on the right, Gorilla is on the left. We're going to come back in a day or so and see how much weight we could hold from them. Are you guys ready for this? Hey, first, look at this. No joke. In the middle of filming my Flex vs. Gorilla Challenge, their glues, look what showed up in the mail. The Flex company sent me a hat. I really love their PR. Now, I'm not showing favoritism one company over the other because to be honest with you, if the Gorilla company sent me a hat, I would wear that too. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take down these four by fours and I'm gonna try to hang from those. Like grab it, pull myself up as best I can. You ready? Let's get to it. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna put my gloves on just because I'm not interested in hurting my hands on these cinder blocks. First things first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully take out these support posts. Now, I should say this is not a very smart thing to do, so absolutely don't try this at home. Let's take out Gorilla first. Oh, it's holding. Now let's take out the flex one. Oh, that's holding too. All right, so I'm gonna jostle it. Holy cow. I actually think I can pull myself up with these. Whew. Now I should say, I do have the entire roof supported by a post right here. I don't know if you can see it on this camera. Um, I did it on purpose, not for this video, but because I have a punching bag out here and I didn't want the joist to sway. So this is being supported, so I'm not gonna yank the roof down, I hope. All right, flex challenge. Whoa. It held me up there. Can you even believe that? I mean, I don't believe it. Now that I'm thinking about it, how am I going to get it down? Huh. Should have had a plan. All right. This is the gorilla. Pulling it, pulling it. These are really impressive glues. Wow. Now, I do have a plan. This is screwed in here. It's screwed in here. I'm gonna unscrew that and pull that right out. Don't be jealous of my sweet new hat. Actually, I should say, don't be jealous of my son's sweet new hat because as soon as he knew I, I got it, he's like, that's mine. I said, well, let me finish this review first and then sure enough, you can have it. All right, so we were looking at the Flex Glue Pro formula and the Gorilla Construction Adhesive Ultimate. And what did we think about it? Well. They glued bricks together, yep. Initial, that initial stick didn't do so well, but over time it absolutely secured and bonded and there's no way I'm gonna break that thing apart. Um, underwater, who in the world would think this stuff would work underwater? But sure enough, it did. Now, gluing cinder blocks to the ceiling was crazy, but it still held secure and I'm really impressed that it was able to hold my weight. I know for a time there you thought it was going to fall because to be honest with you, I thought it was going to fall too, but it didn't. So if you're going to end up using this, whether it's 
outside landscaping, inside construction, doing whatever, gluing things down. This is definitely stuff that's going to hold strong. I think you'd be happy with either. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. So I recently just got this um, chair, and I noticed when I assembled it that the arm piece, let's see if I can get it in there, this part right here where my finger is, it's actually been cracked off. So I'm gonna try some flex glue on there just to see if I could just hold it down and it glues in place. So above here on this side, there's a corresponding piece where that will connect to. Let me turn the light on just so we can see a little better. All right, so this is that. A healthy glob of flex glue. Center it there, hold it down. So what I'll do is I'll hold this for like 40 seconds and then we'll see if it just stays secure. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of Flex Glue Pro versus the Gorilla Construction Adhesive Ultimate. You know what? In this video, you saw that I used the Flex Glue to glue together a seat, like an arm on a seat. Well, that's actually a video I'm working on that's gonna be posting down in the future. And when it does post, you wanna see what happens? I'm gonna link that right up here. But until that post, what I'm gonna do is not that long ago, I actually reviewed another Flex product and that was called the Flex Tape Remover. You have Flex Tape, you wanna get that off, or maybe you have annoying stickers that you can't get off. Well, this is supposed to remove that. So what I'll do is I'll link that video right up here. And I would love it if you would click on one of those links. And by the magic of the internet, when you click one of these links, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click one, they're safe, I promise.